Hello everyone and welcome back to Dolls and DIYs. Today I am back with a crafting video in which we are going to make this shelving cubby with little bins inside and I made this fit for Courtney's room but you can also use more subtle colors to put in your regular rooms as well. To get started, let's go over all the pieces you're going to need to cut out out of 5mm foam board. Each measurement is shown on the template, so you're going to need a base, a top, two side walls, one middle divider, a left divider, and a right divider, and they're the same dimensions. Then you're going to need a back wall. After cutting out all your pieces, you can begin to paint them your desired color. Once again, you can choose whatever color you'd like. While waiting for the paint to dry, let's move on to the bins. So you are going to need two bins, and each of them is going to need one of these templates here. The measurements are all located on the template, so you can cut them out and use them for your bins. After cutting out your templates, just score the lines to form the tabs. After scoring each of the lines, it should be pretty easy to fold where the lines are. Don't forget to fold the tabs too, and once you're done, it should fold up into this U shape. Repeat for a second. To complete the boxes, cut two of these squares 8 cm by 8 cm. Then use hot glue to attach them to the open sides with the tabs. Repeat on the other side to make a complete box without a lid. Then repeat on the second one. Now it's time to cover these boxes in fabric. Choose fabric of any color and then cut five eight centimeter by eight centimeter squares to cover the inside as shown. Cut a small rectangular piece of fabric to glue on as the handle. To cover the outside, I just kind of used a bunch of small squares and hatch patched them together. Repeat the fabric covering on the other box and we're almost done. Now we can begin assembling the shelving unit. First, take your base piece and set it on a flat surface. Then take both of your sidewalls and glue them each on the far ends of the base, and then you can use something just to hold them up as they dry. Next, take your middle dividing wall, measure to the middle of the shelf, and then glue it on like so. Place the bins in their places to keep the wall staying straight up and then take your left and right small divider pieces and place them over the buckets. Adjust your bins to make sure everything is straight and then grab your top wall and glue it on. Finally, take your back wall and glue it onto the back. Alrighty, there you have it. A super useful and super simple doll shelf that works perfectly in pretty much any setting depending on what colors you choose. I love the way mine turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!